That day was uh, by far um, one of the most interesting days I've had in the fire service and one of the dangerous days for our firefighters and the community. Um, the city of Gresham was extremely fortunate that day. We didn't have any loss of life from falling trees, but it could have been much different. Uh, as you can imagine, the Gresham fire was extremely busy that day. We ran more than four times our normal call volume. There were reported gusts of 60 to 80 miles per hour, and it was taking down trees. We were literally showing up with one rescue, or one chief, or one fire engine, making sure that everybody was okay, shutting their gas off, and making sure their water supply was shut off, making sure they didn't have any fire hazards, and then clearing as quick as we could to go to the next one just down the street. We had elderly people stuck in elevators. Uh, we did a couple elevator rescues where we had multiple instances of uh, people stuck inside their cars and inside their buildings. We went to Max and then we went beyond that. And so we were able to get in there and get the two dogs out uh, underneath the tree and they're unharmed, but very, very scared. And then the storm changed. Uh, so it dropped down to 18 degrees. We had a half mile of power lines down on top of three separate cars with people inside. This particular fire uh, had a intense amount of heat coming out the front door. Uh, they call what's called a mayday. We kept functioning. Our firefighters retired. Uh, a lot of them have been here 96 hours in a row. They definitely rise to the occasion. 